Okay. We just got two here right now, but the rest will show up. Yeah. I didn't make it to the ER today, but I'm hoping to get there tomorrow. Uh, yes. What? Here. Simon. There you go. Uh, we lost a raccoon this morning. Um, I thought it was foxy, but I think it was bashful because they, they're similar in look and foxy's a little bigger. Foxy was just here. I don't know where he went. He was just here. And uh, I was taking the garbage out at uh, quarter to six this morning. And he was there looking in the window at me. And uh, so I opened up some hot dogs and I gave him some hot dogs. And then I, I was taking the bags out to the road and he just sat here on the step watching me. Usually they'll run in the woods if they see me out there. And uh, anyway, he just kept watching me. And every time I come in the house for more bags, he wanted more hot dogs. Anyway. By the time I got finished with the garbage, it was daylight. I get everything all out there in the boxes and everything. And uh, my neighbor called me about nine o'clock, and uh, he said, "There's a dead raccoon on the road up in front of your mailbox." And I went out, sure enough. But at first glance, I thought it was foxy because of the coloring and everything. But uh, Foxy's a lot bigger than this one was, so I, I, I would take it might have been ba bashful, not bashful, uh, yeah, bashful, because uh, Angie made up them names for them, and uh, Angie was upset because she thought it was Foxy, and uh, I haven't she doesn't she doesn't know yet, but he was just here. I just saw him. I gave him a couple of hot dogs, and he ran down the stairs with it. So, but this happens, you know, uh, it's been a year, oh, well over a year since I lost one out in the road there. So it happens from time to time. But I mean, to hit him in the daytime like that, I mean, they should have seen him. It was broad daylight. I could see at night, you know, not seeing him and hitting him. But, but see, they, they go up down this road, which you think it was a drag race. Come here. Come on. You guys stay off the road. No need of you being up on the road. No, there's not. You come you come out of the woods and get your hot dog. You don't need to go out in the road and go exploring anywhere. Go get that one. I threw it at you. Here. Yeah, he's a stranger. Because Foxy got a dark head. That might be him there. She would know. She saw him. Because he's big and this one was only little. So. so I'll have to give her a call and let her know. But I am gonna I am gonna go to the air tomorrow because I can't I can't shake this uh, it's just on the one side. What do you want? What? Here. And it wasn't caused by the inoculation. Uh, all I got from that was a sore arm, but that's okay today. I had this going on before I had the inoculation. It's been coming on off and on since uh, when Angie was here the first time in July. You ready for another one? You ready? Huh? You want another one? Where's all your buddies? You won't come up. He's one of the little wild fellows. When I was talking to Doreen at uh, Sobeys there, and I, I told her it was Foxy, but 
And when I, I, I had to get hot dogs, I forgot to get hot dogs today, I was all mixed up. And anyway, uh, I, I went in to get them tonight at 7 and, uh, and I told her it was Foxy, but then, then when I come home, there he was looking at me. There. See, Foxy won't let me give him a hot dog. He will for Angie, but not me. Yeah. So, I don't know if she called yet tonight or not. Let me see. Miss Calls. Tony Trowell, he called me this morning to book the... That's it. No, she didn't call. I'll give her a shout. What do you want? What? He keeps tapping me in the shoulder. There you go. And they got those poor things all wrecked. I'm going to have to get some pieces of plywood and put up there. Because they won't tear the plywood apart like they do that particle board. Here. See? You snooze, you lose. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Here. There you go. We'll give Angie a call. So we're going to call uh, uh, we'll call Susan in Lincoln City first. This is the lady that I help out. Angie and I both help her out, actually. So, uh... You'll be able to hear her, no problem. Yeah. Hello! Hello? <laughs> she hit the she hit the button there and scared these fellows. She must have been sleeping. I'll try her again. Three die. There we go, we're going through now. Hi, honey. Listen, what were you doing? You scared my raccoons, beeping the buttons. Oh. You're live on the on the TV here right now. Oh, you are? Yeah, well, I'm not live, but you're on the video. Oh, goodness. Uh, well, the phone fell on the ground, and I was trying to pick it up with the grabber. Yeah. Yeah, and you, and you hit the beep beep and then they took off. <laughs> I, you know, I called you once before and they ran away. And I promised never to do that again. I know. No. no, but I didn't think you'd be beeping the buttons. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I, I'm sorry. The phone was on the floor and I can't bend to get it. You know, uh, I, I know. I can't get out of the chair quick enough. So I'm so sorry. Anyway, I, everybody in... Uh, in the world are listening to you right now. Well, <laughs> um, you, that wasn't Foxy, by the way, that was that was killed. I think it wasn't Foxy that was killed this morning. It wasn't. No, because when I got home here with the rat with the uh, hot dogs, he was here waiting. Oh, thank God. So I think it might have. Well, I think I. I think it was bashful. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. So, but he oh, John, he. Honey, I'm so sorry. Well, that can't be helped. That's the way people drive out here. But uh, it was oh, daytime. 
It was daytime, so he, they should have seen him. Well, I know. Signs don't mean nothing up here. They're a bunch of idiots. They, oh, they, you know, they drive like nuts around here. You well, should you should try to drive in town. I just couldn't believe that you lost another one. Yeah, well, that's... I usually lose one or two every year. Yeah. So... Well, those drivers go too fast, sweetie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know, I hate to say it, but I think some of them don't care. No, they don't. No. No. Anyway, these these fellows. Uh, I only had three, but they took off when you beat the button. <laughs> oh gosh. They'll be. What's wrong with me anyway? Well, you dropped your phone. Well, yeah. It, uh, How often do you do that? I dropped it earlier and I didn't pick it up, and then the phone was ringing, and I thought. <laughs> Yeah. And I just heard beep, 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 and then it hung up, and yeah. then I got the phone up. Yeah. And it didn't show who called me on caller ID, so no. I couldn't call anyone back. No. Oh, I'm so sorry about scaring the raccoons. You know I'd never do that on purpose. Well, you just better smarten up from now on. <laughs> I sure better. Yeah. Well, anyway, I call. I, I thought I'd call you and let you know, and you're gonna hear you're gonna hear yourself on the video anyway. <laughs> well, give, give me hell for scaring away the raccoons. That's the worst thing a person can do. So we're talking to Lincoln City in uh, Oregon right now. <laughs> on the Pacific Coast. To your crazy friend who scared away the raccoons. Yeah, my nuts. <laughs> yep, yep, you're stuck with her. Well, anyway, I'm going to... Angie, you're just stuck. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Angie a holler now and let her know. She doesn't know yet. Well, all righty. Wasn't one of the two babies, honey. Have a good video. All righty. Bye bye. Bye bye. So she has MS and she has a hard time uh, picking things up, and uh, so we kind of help her out when we can, which is a lot, <laughs> but we don't mind. And. Uh, she uh, she lost the use of her legs and uh, now she can't drive anymore, so she got rid of the car. But MS is a very terrible disease. It's uh, you start to lose your your muscles and everything, and uh, you don't lose your faculties, but you lose the use of your limbs, and and uh, it's it's a horrible disease, and uh, there's no cure for it, and they don't know what causes it. But anyway, I'll give Angie a holler. Maybe they might come back. Unless she beeps a button or something. Uh, let me see. I just hit direct dial for her. There we go. I'm sitting out here with the raccoons and the video's running. Um, uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't uh, Foxy that got hit because he was here waiting for me. He got the first hot dogs tonight. What? Yeah, it wasn't Foxy. I'll tell you who it might have been. Was Furby? Doesn't he look like Foxy? But he's uh, he's smaller too. He's tinier. Okay. Well, they well he has to be tinier because he's younger. He came late, remember? Or wait, no, no, bashful and uh, no, it was bashful. Well, who you call? Wait, now. Who do you call? Uh, it's, he looks like Foxy. There are Furbies here in front of me. Uh, there's Furby and Foxy, and then there's Little Bit and Bashful. Might be Bashful. They look a lot. Yeah, Bashful they looks like Foxy. Look a lot. And then Georgia is the newer one. 
Yeah, no, I think it was Foxy because he was smaller. He wasn't that heavy. So I called Susan on the on while I was on the air, and she dropped her phone. And of course, the phone started beeping, and these uh, these guys all took off. Yeah, see, there's Foxy here. Yeah. But this. Is just, just, no, it wasn't a little bit, because a little bit's similar, he's a lighter color than uh, Bashful. Smaller, yeah. Yeah, he's lighter colored. He's, this one here looked a lot like Foxy, that's what made me mixed up. Okay. Yeah. Are you on the air? Yeah, we're on the air, we're on the air, so don't be swearing. <laughs> okay. Scooter's there, isn't he? No. Okay. No. Oh no, it wouldn't be Scooter. I wouldn't be able to pick him up. Yeah, no, I got Foxy here in front of me. Okay. Yeah. Come here. It's just one of my babies. Yeah. Now he, I was just saying that he don't like to take hot dogs from me. Now he is tonight. Go figure. That's because there's only the two of them here, see? Him and, him and uh, Furby. So anyway, but I was explaining to the people that this happens from time to time, but uh, I said it happened during the day and there was no excuse for that. If you if you watch out for the animals in the daytime, surely to God you can, they don't want to hit a deer though, they lose the front end of their car, but they don't mind running over small, small animals. Here Furby, here. Stand up. You go. But anyway, he had he had a good meal before he went, so. But he was sitting in the door looking at me at quarter to six this morning. And he stayed there till I finished the garbage, and then, of course, the sun came up then. That was a hurricane. Yes. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, anyway, I thought I'd let you know, and uh, I'll give you a holler after I get off here. Okay. All right? Okay. All right. You all right? Yeah. All right. I know you're upset. Yeah. But the, it happens. It's just part, part of life that we got to live with because cars to do take them and they're I saw four of them on the road today when I went to get the hot dogs. Yeah. Alright, I'll give you a holler after. Okay. Alright. Okay. Bye. bye bye. Yeah, she's upset. She doesn't want to lose any raccoons. I don't either, but you know. Idiots will be idiots, and uh, I always watch out for the animals. I never hit one yet, because I watch out for them. Even if a bird's on the road or a squirrel, I, you know, I go around it. Yeah, not the people here, boy. They, they're in such a hurry to go nowhere. What do you think, fellas? There's only you. There's only three of us up here, huh? Furby's not going to miss out in a free meal. No. And uh, Scooter be up here after, and uh, all the rest. We'll do another video with them. Hey. And he'll be back, won't you? Do you want me to put that in the water? Want to put it? Oh, you dropped it. Do you want to put it in the water? There you go. Well, you didn't put it in the water. Here, I'll put it in for you. Know. There. <laughs> now he's digging for it. He likes playing in the water, don't you? Here. I don't think he's in, in the camera view. <clears throat> I'll just have a look. 
No, he's not. There he is. Yeah, we got one. Uh, where's the rest of them coming up? I got one nostril that's stuck, and that's the, the left one. And then yesterday it was fine. And then uh, last night I had pain in there, and I put some hot water, a uh, hot water bottle on it, and took some Tylenol, and that cleared up, and then. I get up this morning and the darn thing's stuffed again. So anyway, but she said uh, I need, I, I do have to go to the ER. I got to get antibiotics. I just hope they take me in this time. If not, the cops can come and get me. <clears throat> and my my brother-in-law's in there, but nobody's allowed to visit him. Only his wife. So we're still on COVID lockdown here in the hospitals. We've still got people getting it. Right, Furby? Huh? I got one more statue to go in, that one there, with the three raccoons. That'll, that'll be going in the garage, and then we'll start taking the signs down before the snow hits. And our weather fellow says it was going to rain yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Now he changed his mind. It's going to rain tomorrow and, and Wednesday. He can't make up his mind. I don't think they know themselves. Who are you watching? He keeps looking out through the rungs and eating. We had one here. Uh, what the hell do we name him? He had a big bright orange tail. He was a big raccoon. We had a name for him. Junior. That's who it was. Yeah, Stevie Lawrence named him uh, when he used to come up here. And it was him that gave the name to Scooter because he scoots around all the time. Yeah, it was uh, Junior, and he he was a big raccoon. But he had his big bright orange tail. He just stayed around for that one year. I wish Ben would come back. I liked him. Like you say, he was just passing through. Look at this now. <laughs> I got one on each side. Oh. <laughs> They're very gentle. This is uh, my jacket I got from uh, the Blue Lobster. Uh, Brianna, who, she works in um, for the company in uh, British Columbia, she was down visiting and she bought me this Nova Scotia Spirit Company. That's uh, that's who owns the Blue Lobster. It's a nice jacket. I like it. It's like a flannel shirt, but it's heavy. And it's mild today. It was 74 here today. Yeah, and I was watching uh, Aretha Franklin movie uh, called Respect. It was quite the movie if anybody ever saw it. It's a long show, long movie, and it was 160 minutes, I think. If you're looking at almost three hours. What are you looking for? What? What do you want? What? There's yours. Oh, you took yours, did you? Their fur is right soft and it's heavy. Yeah, they got heavy fur, haven't you? Yes, you have. 
The heavy, heavy fur. Yeah, big coat's there. The big coat is there for the winter. And they bunch together in the uh, in the dens, and that's how they stay warm. Guess what? It's raining. I rest my case. <laughs> well, anyway. I'm not going to move this because it'll scare them. It's not raining too bad though, it's just spitting. Uh. So, all the flags will get wet tonight. <laughs> What are you doing, little fella? You're eating them hot dogs up, aren't you? Huh? Did you finish that already? Did you finish that? What? Look at that face. Look at that beautiful face. Burby, come here. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Burby. My knee just needed that. Yeah, my knees just needed that. Well, I'll just throw a couple out here on the deck. And we'll put this up on the, the internet. It's too bad about the little raccoon. But but I see so many on the road every day. Everywhere. It's just and it's always raccoons mostly, you know. The odd skunk and porcupines are uh, a common thing to be hit too. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll let these fellows finish that. And uh, I didn't buy any cookies, but I got some marshmallows. But I'll leave them that for later. Gonna have some more? Foxy, gonna get some more? Are you? See, he's got that black head just like the, the one did this morning. Alrighty, we're going in the house. And who have we got in here? Mr. Connor. You're waiting for supper, aren't you? You're waiting for supper? Oh, look at the baby girl. Look at the baby girl. Charlotte. What are you doing? You going to greet the new cats next week? Are you? You going to say hi? Huh? Are you going to shoot your mouth off like you did the one on the deck? What, Connor? What? I gotta put the paper towel and Kleenex away. Yeah. All right, buddy. We're gonna say good night for now, and uh, hopefully, when the rest come, we'll do a second video.